so you know the police and 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 the, and the government you know here in the United States and, and elsewhere like to look at the the current state and say you know the crime is being eliminated crimes being pushed out and some in the future there will be no crime well it's certainly more difficult to get away with crimes now you know such as theft or you know like for instance stealing gas at the gas station it used to be fairly easy to do you could pump the gas and drive off um, now you have to pay for it first you know we have to look at the extremity of crimes we can't just look at the quantitative value we have to look at the qualitative value too uh, Jillian Tate and boyfriend Gary Fellenbaum were accused of torturing and eventually murdering Tate's child over a three-year period during which they said to have hanged him upside down by his feet taped him to a chair and beat him with objects including a frying pan and metal rod they say that the pair um, lived in a mobile county in Chester County Pennsylvania had sex ate pizza and, la and laughed as they carried out the abuse Here's another example. Sources say 22-year-old Ceres Yam was pronounced dead at a bed and breakfast in the valleys after being found with substantial face injuries. Police fired a 50,000-volt taser at Matthew Williams in an effort to stop his attack before a 34-year-old man was restrained and arrested. He lay and died because, oh, this was the guy that ate the woman. He ate her face, and we saw that in Miami, too. So, I mean, come on. Would you rather see somebody die because they got their face eaten off, or would you rather see a thousand people steal some gummy bear? Now the police are going to say, oh, you know, crime went up, you know, we had a thousand thefts. But, again, we have to look at the extremity. We're seeing crimes that we have never ever thought about before.